Hi there doodles, there's been a lot of XP glitches in previous Fallout games and even a few glitches to get unlimited caps so it was only a matter of time until some sort of glitch surfaced in Fallout 4 which could provide either of the two but I believe I found something that provides both unlimited caps and unlimited XP all in one go now I'm not saying you're going to get a million caps and level 271 to unlock all the perks in about 2 seconds because you're not. It is going to take a little bit of work, but it will be worth it in the end. Or at least I think it's worth it. But before you even get started with the glitch, there's a couple of things you're going to need to do beforehand. Now the first thing being, you have to have discovered this location here. Cambridge Police Station. And once you've came across Cambridge Police Station, you're going to come across these people here. These are some Brotherhood of Steel people. And they're, they're going to be outside the police station trying to defend it from feral ghouls. All you have to do is jump in and defend it with them. So once you've done that, you'll come inside, you'll talk to Paladin Dance. I don't know where he's at now, there he is, Paladin Dance. And this will initiate the start of another mission. As you can see here, fire support is the quest that you need to do first. After completing that, you will get the quest Call to Arms. And you don't need to be a mega high level to complete these quests. When I first started, I was only level 10. The Call of Arms quest is actually really very easy because you do have Paladin Dance to accompany you and he just annihilates everybody. Then, upon completion of the Call to Arms quest, you will return to the police station and then you'll be able to talk to this woman here. This is Scribe Halen. Once you talk to Scribe Halen, you'll be given the quest. You will be given Quarter Mastery. And this is a very simple quest. All you have to do is find a bit of tech, bring it back to Scribe, and then that's mission completed. So, as you can see, I've already started the quest, and she's telling me I need to go to the Shamrock Tap House. So I'll head over there now, I'll collect the artifact, and I'll show you what to do next. Now, once you arrive at the destination where you need to be, the thing you'll need to find is always in a box that looks like this. In this instance, I need a reflex capacitor. So I collect that, there you go, collected it. Collect all that junk. And all you need to do now is fast travel back to the police station. Now, once you're back in the police station, give your game a quick little save. I'll explain to you why we did the save in a moment. Now, go back to Scribe Halen. Yes, yes, I brought your item back. Yes, 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 yes. There we go, there's your 97 bottle caps added. And it can vary from about 96 to 106 each time you do this quest. Now, yeah, I'm ready. There you go, I'm ready. And you can do the crest again. So there we go. We've completed quarter mastery. And you get 279 XP. I'm pretty sure it's always 279 XP. And there we go. We've started quarter mastery again. And just to prove to you guys that you can actually do it a lot of times. If you go to my quests. Have a look at this. Quarter mastery, quarter mastery. Yeah. I've done it all that many times. Quarter mastery, quarter mastery, quarter mastery. Absolutely millions. <laughs> so yeah. You can do it quite a lot of times. Now, if we look on the map, and we find where we need to go next, and she's sending me to the Federal uh, Ration Stockpile, fair enough, if you decide, oh no, no, I don't want to go there, that's far too far away for me to travel, I'm too born idle to go that far, no problem, just go back to your dashboard, back to your dashboard, there we go, quit your game, Load the game back up again. And when you load back up, you're just back at your quick save again. And then you go and talk to her once again. Yes, yes, I've got the tech. Yes, 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 yes. Here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm ready. See, that time I got 104 caps. So it just varies every time for the caps. There we go. Get my level done. Yeah, completed. 279 XP. Have a look back on the map again. And this time, my quest is uh, up here, uh, Wicked Shipping Fleet Lockup. And if you didn't already know, the location does change every single time. But if you just do that simple step, what I just told you, a quick save before you talk to her, then you can avoid going to places you don't want to go, just reload your game, and then go somewhere different. If you found this guide very helpful and you're going to do this method on your own game, please be sure to leave a like. And I'll see you again for some more Fallout 4 content very soon. <laughs> Hello there doodles, if you enjoyed that video, please be sure to check those videos out over there, if you don't, 
I will come and get you. So thanks for watching them.